everybody, welcome back. It's Drums by Liz. We're gonna study a little bit of a groovy idea here, okay? I'll play it first and then I'll decipher it for you, okay? Now, at the end there, I went back to a singular idea, okay? So we kind of see the pattern if you need to go back and look at it a little closer, okay? So we're playing it as one E and a, okay, so basses are on one and an, E's and us on the hi-hat, one E and a, and then it's just less than 25, okay? A rudiment, two and a, shave and a haircut, okay? We're gonna put the first note on the snare drum, the rest of it up on that hi-hat, okay? So two E and a, so you're gonna double that first left hand that you're gonna play there, okay? So Two E E, okay. Two E and a. So put that together. One E and a. Two E and a. One E and a. Two E and a. And that alone is kind of a cool little thing. Play it with any other rock beat. You could take that and have a little fun with that too on its own. Okay, so get, getting now to the real point here. What we want to work on is the third beat there when we get to it, okay? So we're coming off of our little the idea, one E and a, two E and a, first note will be a bass note, three E and a, four E and a, okay? So three E and a, four E and a, okay? Catch the and on that bell. When you're hitting the bell too, so that it projects through amplification if you're playing, you know, with a band or anything, use the shank, the shoulder of the stick here. I have to get on the tip because that ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> if there's you know heavy duty stack amplifiers or a PA system, that sort of thing. So always try to use that uh, shoulder of the stick, okay? And I try to target it for the inside of the cup of the bell rather than the outside, so that you're not you know turning thumb up so much. You're playing nice controlled grip, nice uh, German American grip there, okay? Our wrist works better this way than that way. Okay. Um, that's not a, a total given though, okay? There's a lot of goodness to playing thumb up, okay, with faster rhythms. <laughs> Working some notes like that, okay, and using that ability with the thumb up to, to create faster, quicker notes with your right hand. Okay, so third beat. So remember, too, we're going to double all of the notes, okay? So then it turns into three and a, three E and a, four E and an. Okay, a lot to count. Three and a, three E and a, four E and an. Okay? You know, that N count is kind of weird, right? Four E and an, four E and an. Because we're, we're not playing four E and a an. We're cutting it off to that four E and an. Now we'll do it as um, four E and a an. Okay, but I would prefer you to, to, to go like four and one, do three notes off that bass, okay? Four and one, two, three, right? So four and one, two, three. So, um, okay, and try to work your foot a little bit throughout that pattern, okay? So put the whole thing together now. that finesse in your foot, okay? And I've done a little lesson on that in the past that you could uh, refer back to in case you have difficulty doing that. A lot of it is just practice, okay? You know, a couple quick notes, you know, um, trying to accentuate the second note with your foot too, so kind of like, you know, push that second note, you know, try to make that a little heavier, almost like a little dance move, like light and then heavy, light and then heavy, you know, so like, like kind of on the toe and then up. Now, I play heel down, okay? Um, I feel like that's a smarter way to play. Um, again, not a given all the time, okay? But use that finesse in your foot. Get that good power out of the lower end of your foot and your leg, okay? It would be like me telling, you know, still have good control with your wrists, right? And get good power out of your wrists. Don't necessarily play with all of your arms, those big, gross muscles. 
same thing with your legs, you know. Like, why should I work my hip flexor when I don't have to, okay? When I can, you know, utilize um, from the, the knee down or even the ankle down, okay, to, to facilitate some of these ideas. Okay, so have a little fun with that. To review it a little bit.